Applejack's parents. Why won't people stop talking about Applejack's parents? It's quite simple, really. The short answer is because they died. Well, sorta. They maybe died, and if they did, it was premature. And forget when I said maybe, because they totally died. Just read the subtext. You see, the question was always who were Applejack's parents and how did they die? But after Season 7, Episode 13, The Perfect Pair, yes, I have that memorized, the only question that remained was how did they die? And while there's popular theories and headcanons, no one has really come up with an answer that really convinces people. Well, today, that all changes, because today I'm going to tell you the true story of how Applejack's parents, Pear Butter and Bright Mac, met their demise. For the 2% of you that are subscribed to me, you may be wondering why my voice sounds different. The answer to that question also lies in the subtext. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love my voice, but I can't be bothered to, like, fuck it, you know? And to the 98% of you who are not subscribed, you should, because I'm gonna make more My Little Pony content. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. So, if we want to learn how Applejack's parents died, we should first learn about who they are. So, let's go ahead and watch that episode I mentioned. Hub Network, making family fun! Wow, that was a great episode. It was just like my favorite movie, The Lion King 2. Minus the tragic death scene. I think that's really where MLP falls flat. They didn't have a scene with Granny Smith falling off a cliff. Anyway, the episode introduces us to Bright Mac and Pear Butter, or Buttercup as they call her. They had a very Lion King 2 relationship with how they found love in each other despite their families warring. But who cares, the episode I really care about is from season 4, Some Pony to Watch Over Me. A seemingly unimportant episode to the question at hand, but this episode explains everything. I know some of you who have seen the episode may be thinking, like, come on, that's it? That's really original, like, but I have something worth your ear. We do have to catch everyone else up to speed though, so skip here to skip the recap. In this episode, Applejack and Big Mac must travel to deliver some pies to a far off town, leaving Apple Bloom alone at the farm. You're each headed to a mighty hard to reach town. That's the only reason I agreed to let Apple Bloom stay behind alone. Not so long after, Applejack becomes worried for Apple Bloom's safety and turns back to check on her. Applejack stays and doesn't leave and becomes so overbearing and protective that Apple Bloom runs away to deliver the pies herself. Applejack learns that Apple Bloom ran off, freaks out, gathers supplies, and chases after her. <gasps> Meanwhile, Apple Bloom is in a swamp with flames shooting out of the ground and is confronted by a chimera, who decides Apple Bloom will be their next meal. Applejack saves her, they get pies delivered, blah blah blah, something about being grown up. Even tastier than my mama's swamp water casserole! <laughs> the episode was not received well among fans on the basis that Applejack is uncharacteristically protective of Apple Bloom, and while that was true, once I connected some dots, the episode took on a whole new light. My theory states that Pear Butter and Bright Mac were killed making the pie delivery, probably by the same Chimera. And I know this isn't particularly revolutionary, but allow me to pull some bullcrap out of my flank. Pear Butter's nickname is Buttercup. Buttercup, Fire Swamp, does that ring a bell? Ah, uh, no. <sighs> the Princess Bride, Jesse. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It reminds me of The Princess Bride. If you're unfamiliar, go watch it. In the beginning of the movie The Princess Bride, the protagonist saves his girlfriend Buttercup from some cronies by escaping into the fire swamp. They are headed dead into the fire swamp. They both barely live the rest of the movie, blah blah blah. One, the flame spot. No problem. There's a popping sound proceeding each, we can avoid that. What about the R.O.U.S.'s? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. The fact that these two things happen to be so similar made me realize this was probably the writers trying to hint us towards the fact that Some Pony to Watch Over Me was more important than we originally thought. And once we plug this theory back into that episode, Applejack's behavior suddenly makes sense. Just think about the emotional toll it takes to walk down the path that you know your parents never came back from. 
while at the same time leaving your younger sister, who you've been like a mother to, at home, alone. With that slight push from Buttercup having her name, this theory was pushed from a maybe to a definitely. At least for me. And maybe for you too. Anyway, go watch some Pony to watch over me after this video ends, and then tell me what you think, because I want to hear it. Well, that's it for this video, but if you like hearing me talk about My Little Pony or theories about it, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe, because there's more to come. Also, I want you to subscribe so I can get monetization. Thanks, bye! You know, I gotta have the blind confidence in the, in the title, but this is like my favorite theory for how they died. I mean, to the point where it might as well be fact. Just like how The Lion King 2 is the best movie ever made. It's just fact.